Hi, I'm Mark Dixon and welcome to the Railroad Square Arts District. I'm standing outside the latest addition to the park, the Hyatt House Hotel. An exciting fact about the hotel is they've curated a collection of local art, paintings, sculpture, photography, and prints. Let's go inside and take a look at it. Come on. The first piece that guests are greeted by is Summer by Crystal Grow, which is located behind me at the counter. This piece is inspired by Florida's natural landscapes, Wakulla Springs, and all of the beautiful wildlife here in Florida. This work is such a fitting piece for travelers to take in. It's inspired by Crystal's first experience with Wakulla Springs after moving to Tallahassee in the early 1980s. Originally a city girl from Vienna, Austria, she quickly became fascinated by the beauty of natural Florida and immersed herself in it. She loved the way the water reflects the clear sky and the drama of the clouds while also reflecting the currents and flowing grasses underneath. Here in the lobby, the entrance to the dining hall is a double-sided painting by Robert Saltarelli entitled Evening Sun. Make sure you check out both sides. It's a large, dramatic oil painting. I think you're gonna like it. For me, art is kind of a, somewhat of a personal thing. It uh, happens when, in those quiet, undistracted moments, when I, I get a creative concept. And for me, my art takes uh, very different directions in terms of media, uh, types of paint, and also I'll even, uh, uh, do different styles. Everything from street art to pop, from classic to uh, contemporary, abstract. And so, in fact, uh, all the work here in my studio is, is my original work. And uh, one of the favorite things that I do here is when people come in, I ask them to vote on which, which painting they like the best. But the one that often comes up is the one that was selected by the Hyatt House for uh, the lobby. And we have that sitting over here, the original one. What was kind of interesting about that was uh, I got a call from Hyatt House and they say, we like this evening sun picture that you uh, put together, this nice painting. And uh, we like the balance and the color and the simplicity of it all. And so, but we were wondering, could you reproduce that maybe six or seven foot square? And say, can you do two of them? And can you design a 12-foot wall to uh, mount them on? So I, I would invite all the watchers and viewers of this video to, to drop into the lobby of the Hyatt and, and take a peek. And, and please come by my studio and let me know what you think. As guests come off the elevator, they're greeted by Perdita Ross's prints. This one is called Full Moon Rising. There's five prints in the elevator lobbies of the hotel, which I love because everyone has to wait at the elevator. So they get to look at it for a while. And uh, the biggest one's on the first floor, and that's called Full Moon Rising. Then there's four more, Wind Sail, Ripple, Turquoise Sea, and Fishing. And uh, they're paper cuts that are made from Pantone paper. I kind of love Matisse's work, so I always thought, that I would like to try to see if I could sculpt with scissors and do some of those simple shapes and make striking compositions. And the Pantone papers that I had were graduated. So because they were graduated, um, you could um, move the, the horizontal picture plane up and down and it would create a kind of horizon line that would give you a good place to start. And from there, um, I did a whole series and I started cutting the horizon line out and just focusing on the shapes. And then it went to just whatever ideas I got from the color or tone of the paper that I was using to um, eventually moving on from those Pantone papers to um, making my own paper, which kind of started when I was doing First Fridays with people outside and uh, we would paint on cardboard and 
Those were pretty big constructions that I made and everyone loved it and it was done under black light too. So those became my new form of um, expression and that's pretty much what I'm known for in Railroad Square because I did it for 15 years. In the rooms you'll find beautiful panoramic photographs by Katie M. Clark like the one behind me of the St. Mark's Wildlife Refuge Lighthouse. Okay, the pieces that I have in the Hyatt Hotel are in all the guest rooms. I have a St. Mark's Lighthouse panorama over the, the sofa. In the queen bedrooms, I have two pieces over each of the beds, and they are both pictures of sunsets. One is St. Mark's sunsets of the pilings in the water, and the other one is from Panama City Beach County Pier over the beach in the sunset. And I have one that is most people's favorite, which is the over the king size beds, which is a panorama of the cars in MedArch, the Ford truck graveyard. I love doing panoramas, and three of them are panoramas. <laughs> uh, a panorama is when you take multiple pictures and you stitch them together in, in Photoshop. The sunset and the St. Mark's Lighthouse are both like eight or nine pictures put together, but the cars are actually 27 pictures that I put together in um, Photoshop and then I edited it for color and contrast. I am inspired by the world, by life, by social issues. I actually have many series right now promoting different um, social issues and trying to, to promote the marginalized. One is called Faces of Hope, where I photographed people experiencing mental illnesses. And I got their portraits on the display and their stories showing how they are, can live well. But you see people of many different lives and walks and ages to try to promote empathy. I'm excited to be a part of the Hyatt House's permanent collection with this sculpture that they commissioned for me called Storyteller. It's a welded steel piece and it incorporates found and fabricated objects. Each of the little vignettes sort of tells a story. What that story is is really up to the viewer. I've uh, tried to kind of bring about a, a telling of the industrial nature of the area and the history of the area um, here at Railroad Square. I also have work inside the hotel, smaller pieces, so I hope you get a chance to come down and view everything here. Thanks for joining us here at the Hyatt House Hotel to experience the local art in and around the property at the Railroad Square Arts District.